hope springs eternal. It is my good fortune that the teacher gave me the task of delivering to you this message. It is a gift to mankind, a glimpse into an inspiring new future at hand. It has been gifted to us as a model to show how we will live in a new self-sustaining future. In our present-day world, fear abounds. Anger, hatred, and the mass suffering of the weaker of us has overcome the global consciousness of our planet, which itself is also suffering. Perhaps this is the unavoidable, correct stepping stone to create a renaissance in our civilization. It will not be the first dynamic reconstruction in our history. Behold the teacher's vision through which you are invited to gaze into the peaceful time approaching. The teacher, in speaking of his vision to the student, closed his eyes, tilted his head back and exclaimed, It will be so peaceful. Welcome to the first of three parts to what has been ordained to be known as the mystic end of the seventh ray. High in the valleys and plains of the rainforest of India lies the yet unseen wonder of the mystic end of the seventh ray. You are greeted by the Mystic Towers, a collection of energy-producing architecturals that double as research labs, administration offices, a welcome center, and parking areas. The Mystic Power Station is a massive edifice which, like all the features of the Mystic Inn, must use one of the five elements to generate self-sustainable energy. Here at the Mystic Towers, the gravity of the falling water combined with emerging nanotechnologies, creates continuous energy to serve the needs of the Mystic Inn community. Here is the Eco Living Center, which houses ecological research laboratories, along with a full complement of ego architects and engineers. They will provide builders and advisors to projects around the world ranging from homes to villages, factories, and cities. These unique energy-producing buildings even serve as parking facilities for the staff of the Mystic Towers. The centerpiece of the Mystic Inn is the 300-acre botanical garden. Miles of walkways traverse what will become Asia's most exquisite collection of exotic trees, plants, and flowers. These will be brought from every corner of our planet, and with them will come the nature spirits of each land. The Mystic Inn Botanical Gardens will become an international treasure and destination, expecting at maturity to be visited by over a million people annually. This oasis of peace will have additional features for our guests, including museums, exhibition centers, multicultural performance venues. These and other architectural wonders will facilitate a peaceful change of consciousness when experienced firsthand on a visit to the mystic end of the seventh ray. Here, for instance, is the centerpiece of the mystic gardens the thousand and eight foot butterfly house, which is the growing house for all the trees and plants of the Mystic Inn. Guests will receive guided tours of this exotic greenhouse, introducing all to the unique forms of plants and flowers on offer throughout the Mystic Inn of the Seventh Ray. As the Mystic Inn is open until 10 each evening, there will be lighting features throughout the gardens, such as the dancing waters and light show in front of the butterfly house. The walkways scattered throughout the botanical gardens also pass through the teaching and healing centers. Here is the Temple of Understanding, a conference center and community hall. Other teaching centers include the School of Sacred Geometry. This teaching library will be created under the watchful eye of the famous sacred geometrist, 
Dr. Keith Critchlow of the Prince of Wales School of Architecture in London. Other teaching centers include the School of Ayurvedic Studies, the School of Chinese Medicine, the Mystic End Products Research and Development Labs, the teaching centers for Tai Chi, Fin Shui, and Reiki. This is a small sampling of the planned 18 teaching and healing centers that will form the core of the educational aspects of the Mystic Inn. The Mystic Inn is a virtual vault of knowledge continuously flowing online from the multimedia center, creating an online virtual living library of knowledge available to everyone on the planet to enhance the health and peace of all. Here is the Mystic Inn Amphitheater, an amazing duplication of one of the seven wonders of the ancient Grecian world, the amphitheater at Epicurus. Built in 500 BC, it is considered to be, to this day, the most acoustically perfect amphitheater in the world. Each morning and evening, visitors to the Mystic Inn will view multicultural productions including music and dance by the world's leading performers. Like the Mystic Towers, a waterfall down each side of the amphitheater using the same nanotechnologies will be providing all the electrical power and lighting needs of the amphitheater. Like the Butterfly House at night, the amphitheater will be a visual feast. All the events that take place here will also be broadcast to the world from the Mystic Inn Multimedia Center, creating a virtual library of cultural performances. Behold the sacred water mandir. This marble metaphysical machine was designed under the direct instructions of the teacher. Pure water will be pumped to the crescent of the water mandir's dome. From here it will fall 108 feet onto a massive crystal. From there, it will flow into the star pool. Visitors to the Mystic Inn will be able to drink from the 108 lotus drinking fountains on the edge of the star pool. It will not only be available for all who come to the Mystic Inn, but will be distributed worldwide. The teacher said, call the water blessed. Hope Springs Eternal. This has been the first of three previews of the Mystic Inn of the Seventh Ray. We thank all of those who have shown such continuing interest in this unique gift to mankind, inspired by the teacher. All can participate in this gift of peace and hope for the coming age.